by the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Bill, will we be able to get there before dark? Yes, well, we've got 200 miles, Joe. Um, there's a there's possibility a... we'll be landing just after dark. Um, I think the doctor's arranged the flare path. I did ask them to get the flare path ready in case it was after last night. So yeah. Or well, you could get some, uh, some cars lined up, or if they have got the flares, uh, get them laid out in the proper manner. Kalgoorlie is typical of Australia's 13 flying doctor bases. Within minutes of receiving an emergency call, pilot and doctor are in the air. The base has two Piper Navajos, which carry stretchers and emergency supplies, including blood transfusion equipment. People at the depots, raising properties and mines of the outback use two-way radio to summon medical help. Um, I'm here in the Western Desert. The Flying Doctor was the inspiration of a Presbyterian missionary, the Reverend John Flynn, who had seen people dying in the outback because they could not reach a doctor. Flynn thought of using aircraft, but there was no way to summon them until an engineer, Alfred Traeger, invented a simple two-way radio generated by pedals. Over. Six Foxtrot Whiskey to VJQ. Dennis, any idea how you did it at all? Any idea how you did your bad back in? Um, have you taken any medications for it? Have you taken anything for it? Over. If I haven't taken anything for it, over. All okay, Dennis. Stand by, Mum. Now get hold of Doctor. VJQ Kilo Alpha Delta, listening. Kilo Alpha Delta. Uh, VJQ Kilo Alpha Delta, go ahead. Kilo Alpha Delta, good morning, William. I have one medical for doctor, please. Dennis Meeker, the truck driver from Warburton, he's on his way back from Warburton, but he's done something to his back. It's terribly sore, and he's in great pain. Um, he will get labored in hospital in a few hours' time. Um, can doctor give us something for him, please? Over. Fine, Lorraine. Uh, thanks very much. I got that about his back. Um, I think he's best plan would be to get to Cosmo Newbury Mission and uh, there's some tablets in the kit that he could use, number 5A, number 5A, he could take two for the pain and then uh, he'd best get through to Laverton Hospital where we can uh, put him to bed and he can have further treatment. People of the Outback own special medical kits containing 120 items, including drugs. In emergencies, valuable time is saved because of these kits. As the doctor flies to the scene, he can instruct patients by two-way radio how to treat themselves. With minor complaints, it may not be necessary for him to fly to the patient. He can prescribe by radio using the numbers displayed on every item in the kit. Laverton Hospital is 400 kilometers from Kalgoorlie and the nearest medical practitioner. In addition to emergency medical services, the Flying Doctor provides routine medical care for patients in outback hospitals. Once a week, Dr. Michael Sexton holds a clinic, offering normal general practitioner services to people living on the mines, sheep stations and Aboriginal reserves near Laverton. The isolation for people in the outback is immense. Only 900 people live in the 31,000 square kilometres of the Leonora Shire near Kalgoorlie. If necessary, patients are evacuated to hospital in Kalgoorlie and in some cases to Perth, Western Australia's capital city, 550 kilometres from Kalgoorlie. The matrons of the Outback Hospitals do everything, from caring for patients to driving an ambulance. Matron Hughes frequently makes a round trip of 800 kilometres, taking patients from Laverton to Kalgoorlie. About half of the 6,000 people cared for by the Kalgoorlie Flying Doctors are Aboriginals. Some of the Flying Doctor aircraft have radar, and pilots like Bill Ingham have to be instrument rated. Most of Australia's outback is desert or semi-desert. It is a country where graziers allow hectares to the sheep, not sheep to the hectare.
The homesteads, mines and settlements have airstrips made of graded natural earth. Vicious crosswinds, the risk of getting bogged in wet weather, the fear of obstacles on the airstrips are just part of the job for Bill Ingham. At night, the strips are lit with flares or car headlights. Yanda Mindra sheep station is one of the huge grazing properties up to 400,000 hectares in size dotted over the outback. Mrs. Miriam Hardy and her young family depend on the flying doctor John Botha for medical help. So how have you been, Peter? All right. Let's have a look in your mouth and see. Situated in searing heat on the edge of the desert are the rich nickel mines at Windara. Ironically, the mines at Windara, which are situated in some of Western Australia's most arid country, are called Poseidon, after the Greek god of the sea. Life in the outback is harsh, but without the flying doctor, the isolation and fear of illness and accident could become intolerable. In addition to dealing with mine accidents, the flying doctor service provides regular routine clinics at Mount Windara for miners and their families. Come and see us again in, in, on Mondays, you, you should be pretty right. And as I say, if that's localised or disappear, we'll, we'll, um, we'll be right as well. If it's localised, I'll probably inside it then. The vulnerability of people in the inland inspired the flying doctor founder, John Flynn, to remark that the alternatives were an aeroplane or a grave. Today, the Royal Flying Doctor Service has more than 20 light aircraft, which each year fly more than 3 million kilometres to take medical care to the lonely Australian outback. <laughs> 